In this Ubuntu tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly install and use Grub Customizer, a program that allows you to customize your Grub boot menu. So, I'm just going to open up Chrome over here, and you're going to navigate to this launchpad.net page. Link is down in the description. This PPA has the latest release of Grub Customizer. I am not sure if Grub Customizer is or is not in the Ubuntu Software Center, but it would probably be better if you use this PPA versus the Software Center to install the program because then you can make sure you have the most recent, stable, up to date version of Grub Customizer. Anyway, we're going to open up the terminal after copy and pasting the bolded text in the adding this PPA to your system paragraph and then from here we're going to execute the command sudo app add repository and then control shift V to paste that in press enter enter your password and it has then added the repository do a quick sudo apt-get update and update your software sources and then after that completes you want to do sudo apt-get install grub hyphen customizer and it will pull in Just a couple packages, five or so. And after it installs, you can close out the terminal, minimize your web browser, go up to the dash, begin searching for Grub, and it is under the Applications menu Grub Customizer. Enter your password. now we are presented with this which at first glance looks quite um, complicated so what I'm going to have you do first is go down the list and any trees that you see have empty branches like this Linux Zen it only has one branch and there isn't really any entries there you just go ahead and close that and just collapse the ones that you will not be using just to kind of uh, shorten it up a bit and then if you have any windows partitions they'll show up down there too and you can basically go through and check or uncheck different Linux kernels uh, other operating systems that you may have installed if you have like a slackware partition or a windows partition and uh, you can also, if you feel you, you never use it, though I do not recommend doing this, you can also disable the mem tests. I personally never use them, but I would feel awkward, I guess, getting rid of them in the event I ever did need them. Um, ideally, if your Linux kernel that you're using right now works flawlessly, you could only leave the most recent one um, checked and uncheck all the older ones especially since this list does get long as an Ubuntu distribution gets older and more and more security patches come out and each security patch bumps it up another version number so you can manage the grub that way and you can also change some of grubs less obvious settings by going to edit preferences and here you can choose what the default entry is and it you can do it by uh, by position or by previously booted entry so if you 
this like if you boot up your computer and decide to run Windows over Ubuntu one day, next time you restart your computer, it would automatically boot up into Windows. Whereas if you go with predefined and it's always predefined to land on Ubuntu, even if you just restart it from Windows, you will still it will still want to default you to Ubuntu. You can also change your timeout. If you set this to anything above zero seconds, then it will give you a choice of what you want to do when you first boot up, um, which is what you should set if you have other operating systems that you want to switch to. I don't, so I leave that timeout of zero. Uh, you can change custom resolution. Uh, you can set a background image, change the menu colors, and change a few more uh, more complicated choices. But for the most part, that is Grub Customizer in a nutshell. It is a fantastic application. Um, makes using Grub so much easier. You know, you have to go, go hunt through config files. And I wholeheartedly recommend it to anybody that ever finds themselves installing multiple operating systems on their computer.